Welcome back, my loyal subjects, to more Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Feral Fiasco here. Last episode, we went to the Sandy Barrens. We defeated the first boss. It sounds like there's going to be multiple, so one for every floor. Sewing for soldiers. I want to make new backpacks for Maginian soldiers. Please help the brave soldiers protecting our city by bringing me the materials I need. That request comes from a craftsman who makes bags. She's making new backpacks for the soldiers in the forests. She wants us to bring her the materials she needs to make those backpacks. Bring me two sand cloths and two withered vines from the sandy barrens. They're dropped by forest mystics and you can take the vines. That, uh, thanks in advance. Okay, this island is home to many rare plants. One of them lives in the sandy barrens. Could someone go retrieve one for me? Oh, you're going to pick up that request? That one comes from the botanist you helped before. That's right, he wants you to find him another rare plant. This time, he wants a flower that never wilts. <laughs> and no, it's not a carved replica or anything. It's actually immortal. That said, I need you to take a timeless flower in B2F of the Sandy Barrens. All right. Should be able to knock both of those out, even though we've still got Western Shrine requests that uh, I need to get on. But even ahead of those Western Shrine requests, Snakeskin Shield... I'm gonna need to uh, actually first uh, re-equip everybody's stuff. We had to give everybody a cockatrice charm so that they wouldn't, or everybody except Monet, but you know what the thing actually didn't even try to petrify us once when we were all wearing these? It was such a rip. It didn't waste a single turn even trying it. Actually, that's wrong. Memory conch. And then target goggles. They were useful though, I guess. Since we didn't actually have to put up with any type of BS like that. Okay, the Partigiana. Which we can only upgrade three times, but... It is better than the Chiati Kudo, so... Maybe? Is there anyone else who'd be better served? Dark Shot. Ugh. We can't upgrade the Cross Events at all. But we can not upgrade the Dark Shot once we get it. It's all so expensive. <laughs> Alright, so we're back on B2F. First things first, let's see if I can't find any new paths. The gimmick of this place is that basically there are floors that force us forward one space. So it's kind of like, um... It's kind of like when we were under seas. But it does but these there's not gonna be any way for us to turn them off. Or at least none that's really going to make sense. Okay. Forest Mystic. So I guess the forest guy didn't call his people off. But it kinda reminds me, uh, we fought like dead arcanists, or maybe they were just regular arcanists, something like that. And the Misty Ravine back in EO4, so. Go ahead and teach these guys a thing or two. Actually, we probably want to head pierce the uh, forest mystic. Probably going to be a better use of our attacks here. But I do know that our stores of TP restorative items are basically completely dried up. So I'm going to seriously need to grind for those. Which I'm probably going to do before the next boss. But for right now, let's try head sniping. Forest breach. Physical and elemental attack decrease. Which, I guess, when they inflict those status effects on us, it'll be better than us killing the crap out of each other. Okay, so that's the head bind. Now, uh, we just need to up our offensive stats again. Bloody offense, massive edge. Actually, he will not be etheric gleaming. Firestar. He will be etheric gleaming. And she will keep, uh... Let's actually have her try head sniping one of the hex roots. Nope. Okay. This is not great. It's like, not... Oh, man. Come on, Reese. Nope. Dang, dude. The head bind. I'm... Friggin' real! We're all still panicked, though. 
We need Reese at least to come to his senses. Okay, we got Reese and Baron. And then refresh these two. Forest Breach again. Alright, so she will hero battle just to see if that can get us attacking ahead of them. Draining Thrust, you attack as well. Can we Divination to attack first? And then Align Heal to keep them... Wow, this thing is still not dead! Well, that's not what we wanted to see. Volt Shot! Also didn't want to see that. Okay. We've still got Monet. Okay. Well, I guess it's a good thing that we didn't actually um, unload all of these things we've got. Yeah. There we go. All right, Salem. We normally don't have to hit this button on him, but man, it's there's too much going on. Okay, had to hit the win button really quickly. We will still keep going, but... Oh, hey, check it out. The last two sap vines we needed. Oh, I guess I must have... No, I must have died. Okay, I probably died when we got the other sap vine, but... Oh, no, did we turn that request in? I think we turned that request in. All right, we're fine. So let's go back here. Hmm. Yeah, there can't be too much up here. Oleander, Oleander, that's the only thing we found. All right. It's not what we were looking for, but... Okay, so what is this? The enemy version of the... Yeah, huge MOA. The regular enemy version of the FOE from the Primitive Jungle, then? All right. Uh, well, we do want to head Pierce. We can't have that hex root just completely crapping on us. It's... Too much to deal with, dude. The bind and the and the the status ailment. So yes, everyone head snipe. We do not want to get caught off guard again. Crushing kick. Uh. Okay, cool. And Reese can still he wasn't affected, so he can still heal everybody. So we got that going for us. Let's do another head pierce. Trip edge. Firestar, Line Heal, hopefully, can we be fast enough to have that work for us? Can't move due to Paralysis. Alright, could have been worse. There we go, now they're both gimped. Okay. Just can't allow them to do whatever they want, that's the only thing. Oh, it's Massive Edge. Whoa, it's Headbind is already gone? Wow. Someone's lucky. Okay, one, gone. Now it's just the huge MOA left, which can't kick us any longer. And basic attack madness should carry us through the rest of this. There we go. All right. Whew. Bird tendon. Huge MOA bird tendon. And then what's back here? Another dead end. As you continue through the trees, a strange sight appears in the dead end ahead. At first, it appears to be a man-made stump, but as you approach, you see countless coins wedged in the surface, covering it like scales. You believe this is called a wishing tree, and a wishing tree in another country. Traditionally, visitors insert a coin into the stump and make a wish. Still, the stump does look quite bizarre, and a bit creepy if you're being honest. You can pull out the coins lodged into the wishing tree if you desire. Uh, sure. Well, actually, the wishing tree, it could either turn out to be an FOE or a hex root. It's probably not going to be an FOE. The wishes made upon this tree mean that the stump is infused with people's most fervent desires. It is said that tampering with such things can bring ill omens. However, Reese approaches the stump without trepidation, brushing the warning aside as nothing but a superstition. They tug out a coin buried deep into the wood. See? Perfectly fine, says Reese as they continue to pull out more coins. After several coins have been dislodged, Reese's hand suddenly slips. 
and smashes into the scale-like armor of coins littered across the stump. They yank back their hands in pain. 60 damage from hitting your hand? Whatever. I was just about to stop anyways, says Reese. They try to back coolly away from the stump, but no one is fooled. 4,000 N! Minus 60... HP... And then... Plus... 4K... N... An armored stump. In your travels, you found a tree stump covered in coins. You pulled out a few of them, but paid the price when it cut your hand. Alright. So, that was actually a really good event. Let's, uh... Well, I guess we gotta go back this way. See if there's any other route for us. Blindsided. Nothing to worry about, as per usual. Is there any route down here that I missed? There is not. So that means there must be somewhere else we can go from here. Hmm. Interesting. Where did I... Can we step... Oh, we can! That's interesting. Oh, but it's one way. Okay. Okay, makes sense. I assume that uh, I assume that it was a two-way. You'll be unable to come back. I think this was also something that you get that... Oh. Uh, was part of the gimmick of the Misty Ravine. Hmm. Except it may have just been paths that you were forced to follow. Okay, these guys again. So do we want to go forwards or backwards first? Let's do this. Unable to come back. Okay, so this is going to take us right back into that spot. Which it actually looks like is the... Nope, it's not the only choice we can make. Let's go up. Hmm. Okay, so we can go down and over this way. But we don't want to do that. We do want to make sure we get as much of the map for this filled out as possible. Okay, so another one that just circles us right back around. Don't want to do that. Okay, these guys keep coming up, so we're going to keep smacking them down. All right, and then with that tiny distraction taken care of, this way seems to be the way forward. Yep. So that'll take us right back to whence we came, to borrow the forest folks terminology. Hmm. Unable to come back. Okay, so that's a total dead end. This takes us over there, which we don't want to go. Oh, an item. Okay. Yeah, this place couldn't be too sprawling. 33,000 N. Alright, seems like a pretty nice reward to me. Let's uh, get some more kills while we're at it. Ladies and gents, we got him. You've collected four sap vines. Okay. Unable to come back. Uh, we do want... We want to see if we can potentially take... Those items we're gonna need. It actually looks like in order to get back over there, might need to do a little bit more exploring over here. Alright, so let's go over. And this probably takes us over also. I mean, it definitely takes us over. Okay, this must be the way forward. And this must be the way back. Hmm. Anything else? Yes. Two areas, both. We can try. Hmm. There's just... It's just not possible for us to go the one way. Alright. 
Man, I might need to put even more ranks into these headbind uh, skills that we've got. Because they are not trying to make things easy on us, that's for sure. Alright, so both of these come out into the same place, so that's cool. Uh, okay, so I think we are going to go back because we're actually... I'm not trying to run into another thing with the Forest Mystic and two Hex Roots. That encounter is actually quite difficult. Report. Pest problem. And these are the ones for the shock talismans, unfortunately. Soon, though. Oh, you finished that request? Excellent work. Yes, this is the stuff. Bugs just hate the smell of this red sap. Here's your reward. I hope you'll help it again sometime soon. Okay, shock talisman. Right then. I should go and get this to that widow. She even came in yesterday to remind me about it. She must really hate bugs. Good thing I'm not a bug, because this stuff won't keep me away from her. Alright. More levels, more power. Yeah. The shock talismans? I don't really ever use those. Okay, but everything else we can sell. Uh, yeah, we don't need the sandfish eyes anymore, I don't think. Surumaru, Telescope Scythe, Sandfish Knife, Huge Plate, Ivy Mittens, Coal Bit, All Mist. Okay. Uh, nah. Though I do think Partigiana. No, I think we're good for another Drive Blade. Yeah. And what about guns the marble barrel I believe that is yeah and we'd be able to we wouldn't be able to completely upgrade it we should be able to get to four but that's still fine soon though or actually maybe right now we can sell the cross of it yes and now we can buy her new weapon all right and then sell the Arquebus plus five. Alright, we're still super broke, but we're not as super broke. Alright, so back on floor two. First things first, we gotta loop around, see if we can take what we need. Fingers crossed, Oleander. And more Oleander, okay. Uh, as sucky as that is, it will come back in five hours, so it's all good. Alright, preemptive attack. All right, with that handled, we can immediately go here and down. Hmm. Okay, so that's how we can come back up that way. Like that. Uh, oh, we have to. This was the wrong choice to make as far as uh, how to get down. Okay. That means let's uh, try this very first one this time yeah the lone huge moas are definitely much less of an issue okay so that just immediately loops back around which means that the true way to proceed must be this one down here all right what you got so that's one way back which we're not going to take. Ah, okay, so it must be a way to get over here through that one. Only thing that makes sense. All right, right back to the dungeoning. Yeah, if we go this way. Okay, it looks like this might be the next good amount of space we've got to go through. Okay, so that's how these connect. Not going to do that. Well, we are going to fight, though. Okay, so next, let's see what's down here. All right. Take yet another step into the great unknown. Okay, maybe a take point? Yes! Withered vine. You've collected two sand cloths and two withered vines. All that remains is to deliver the items to the tavern. Uh, sh nah, let's... Let's hang on for a little bit longer. We've definitely still got the stamina to be able to do so. The HP and the TP. And especially with huge mowers are easy to take down, so. 
All right, with yet another bird tendon collected. As you carefully proceed through the labyrinth, you suddenly hear the voice of the forest folk man from up ahead. Ugh, what are you doing? Upon hearing his voice, you run ahead to find him being threatened by what appear to be more forest folk. There's no time to waste. You draw your weapons and run to his aid. Okay, it's just force. It's just a pair of force mystics, even. I can't really fathom what was going on, but, uh. Bind the arms, bind the legs. Sure, let's try snare circling. Just because that. It might be our best option right now. Just because he can't really do anything else. Forest breach. And then they've got this bolt shot attack that's friggin' ridiculous. Alright, so that's the leg bind. And we've already got one with the leg bind, so. Dang. Definitely should be putting more ranks into our attacks here. Oh, Volt Prophecy. But we have to pick one target, though. Let's try meteoring. Head bash on you, head snipe on you. They're not bolt shotting, so I'm not gonna complain about that. They really aren't trying to bolt shot us. All right. Okay. So that's not too bad. There's one down. She's already snared, so we're fine there. Uh, yeah, let's basic attack them to death. All right, we got him. We saved, uh, but we saved him. But now we got to figure out why he was being attacked in the first place. That tw uh, that's twice now you've saved me, and not only that, but you saved that child from our village as well. The young forest folk is surprised by your appearance, but after looking to the heavens in relief, he bows to you. I humbly thank you. It would seem there is some good to be found amongst humans. I am Makiri. Please forgive me for my disrespect. He introduces himself with a smile. You do the same. Soka. Luna Soul Guild. A fine name indeed. Well then, Luna Soul Guild, I grant you entrance to the Sandy Barrens. You may proceed. I will pursue the intruders as well. I understand the woman's importance to you, but that man must be stopped. So he's not going to at all talk about why he was being attacked by other forest folk? Makiri then dashes further into the labyrinth and disappears. You follow his lead. Alright. So this is a complete dead end. Actually, no, it probably... Somewhere else probably leads to there. A Soma. Nice. That's gonna be really freaking helpful. But at least we know we're on the right track now. Okay, so this must be the part where the dungeon... Whoa. Okay, so that's another forest folk, but yeah, the dungeon puzzle is probably going to change up from here. Okay, so she spins every two steps. And judging by that whip, she might be able to hit us even if she's not directly facing us. So we do want to be cognizant of that. Hmm. Is there anything of interest here? No. Looks like this room just must just be a breather between the two FOE puzzles. Alright, we got him. Baron, dude. It's hard to believe that basically at this point in the previous dungeon, he was still in the 40s level-wise. Okay. Definitely don't want to get caught. Okay, cool. Um, but it actually looks like there might be something of interest. Okay. Whoops. Oh, okay, there's a third one. Hmm. Wait, they're not moving towards us? Okay. So they sick that whatever this thing is on us. Hmm. So it probably should stop pursuing us. Yes. Looks like we do need to... If we want to proceed, we're going to have to figure something out. When I'm... The worst thing that could potentially happen is if we try to walk past them after they... After they get us. Hmm. 
there's no move I can make that, uh, there's no move I can make that won't result in us getting caught. So let's go one forward. So it just appears out of nowhere? That's interesting. It appears out of literally nowhere to give chase and then disappears. So I guess it just must be at its mistress's beck and call or something. Just as your eyes begin to glaze over with the passing of yet another tree, you notice something on the ground ahead. It's a small nut. It may not look like much out on the outside, but its seed is full of nutrients. The nut is only big enough for one of you to eat. Uh, let's eat the nut. Um, it could restore TP, so let's give that to Baron. Baron picks up the nut. They break the hard shell open with their weapon, exposing the delicious looking seed inside. Baron pops it into their mouth and begins savoring the rich flavor. Suddenly, Baron's expression changes and they spit out the seed with a sputter. Looking down at the hastily discarded seed, you see none other than a caterpillar writhing slimily within. The handsome nut seems to have been tantalizing the humans and insects alike. Unfortunately, the insect got there first. Baron is still twitching at the memory of that seed in their mouth. They might be scarred for life. Really? I think Baron might like it, but... <sighs> Dang, dude! Minus 55 TP to 1. It seems not only adventurers and monsters live inside the forest. With that thought at the forefront of your mind, you trudge ahead. Oh well, it was worth it for some XP, the buggy nut. You came across a tasty looking nut and popped it into your mouth, but you weren't a fan of that surprise sensor. Enough for a new level for anyone? No. Soon though, very soon. Might even as soon uh, be as soon as this fight. And, okay. It probably will be the next fight though. All right. So we've got... Hmm. So we've got that to block us from view. Definitely want to make note of it. Hmm. Oh, I could have gone right there. All right. There we go. All right. So that one was pretty straightforward, unless there's like another room over there that we wanted to get to instead. Hoping that's not the case. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Oh! We can go down without getting into another fight, but even so, we do want to make sure that we get that shortcut. Here we go. And with that active... Well, this fight's gonna be fine. Alright, with them handled, we've got level 68 on Reese. And there's one other side. Oh, there's more. That's interesting. Okay, this is just the one room. Okay, not too bad. The narrow line of trees suddenly part as you come across another glade. Looking down, you notice withered branches litter the ground. They could be dry enough to use for firewood. A campfire can be kindled here if desired. We will be immediately leaving after this, but we want the XP, so... Given the generous size of the glade, there doesn't seem to be much threat of other trees catching fire. You set down your belongings and begin preparing the campfire. Resting when able is crucial to the success of adventurers traveling through the forest. Once the fire is aflame, you cook the ingredients you have with you and enjoy a small meal. Although modest, having warm food in your stomachs helps to heal your exhausted bodies and feet. Wow. Oh well. I uh, can't heal. I guess, uh, maybe put a plus plus there. As the branches begin to burn out, the fire dwindles until the flames are extinguished completely. You, dow uh, you douse the ashy remains of your campfire and continue your quest with refreshed souls. A firelight meal. You happened upon a spot perfect for a campfire. Using dried branches on the ground, you enjoyed a light meal. 
I wonder why it's put right here after the way down. Seems kind of weird, but yeah, we don't want to actually get into another fight. We're just going to Ariadne thread out. Alright, so first we can report this request. Actually, I probably should have gone down one, then come back up. Report. Sewing for soldiers. 40,000 and exactly what the doctor ordered. Hey, welcome back! It must have been a real hassle getting all those items together. Heck, I probably would have given up halfway through. So these are the items you gathered. This sand cloth is pretty sturdy. I bet you could make a nice pair of underpants from these. I was just thinking about buying a few new pairs. No, no, it's okay. I'm not going to steal them. Right, here's your reward. 40,000 N. I do still need some new underpants, though. Then I can use my old ones as dish rags. Oh, we didn't need to know that. What's that? Why do I use my old other pants as dish rags? Well, that's easy. The old dish rags are riddled with holes. I can't make those into underpants, now can I? <laughs> I'm just kidding. Are you, though? Are you, though? Okay. So we've got two people who are closing in on level 70. Yeah. There's quite a lot to go with this. Yes, we can sell everything we don't need except for that thick bone. We still need that. Thick bandages, mantle. The mantle seems like it could be new armor for our backliners. Yes. Desperately in need of some better stuff. And we can sell the red doublets that they already had. Okay, only thing left to do is for us to go in and go to the next floor. Okay, but before we do that, we do have to explore this because I think not going in here is the only reason why I can't turn this map in just yet. Yeah, it's probably, that's probably the, the case. Uh, I think we're actually going to just go ahead and run from these guys. Yeah, because we're only we're only even up here for one thing. Man, it'd be really nice if we could run from this and not have to fight them. Calamity Roar. Yeah, yeah. But Baron got away. Okay. Walk around here. As you explore the aging forest, you reach an open clearing. In the center of the clearing is a statue of a human crafted in realistic detail. It stands with its back to you. Right, a statue crafted in realistic detail. It looks eerily lifelike, as if they were walking along one moment and turned to stone the next. You can examine the statue if you wish. Examine. You walk around to the front of the statue to examine it more closely. A medicine bottle is held in its hand. Could someone have placed it there? You thank your good fortune and take the medicine bottle. Axela. After putting the bottle away, you see that the statue is wearing a Meganian soldier's equipment, along with an expression of agony. Considering when this forest was formed, it seems unlikely that the statue was modeled after such a person. If the statue was actually a petrified human, it would explain the high level of detail in its design. Could there be a way to free him from his petrification? With this in mind, you examine the soldier again. A wave of despair washes over you and you realize what you are seeing. A piece of the petrified soldier's head is missing. Even if you were to release him from this state, he would die immediately. There seems to be no means of saving this man. You offer a prayer to the soldier and decide to move on. You must not forget, the monster that turned this man to stone is still lurking somewhere in the forest. Wow. Super dead. I can't put the super dead in there. Free Axela. Only a statue? During exploration, you found a medicine bottle in the hand of a statue and then realized it was actually a petrified soldier. Alright, and that should be all that's standing between us and being able to turn this in, except for maybe that huge gap uh, on 6B, but oh well. Down to 3F we go. Alright. Down to 3F we go, again. Beware the pincer strike, okay. So 
So I'm assuming they mean a literal pincer strike. Probably something to do with the FOE puzzle for down here, maybe? Drop that. Alright, what do we got? This is an empty room. You step through the wooded growth and spot an object in the center of the open space ahead. It's a stone monument. You step closer and see the following etched upon the surface. If you want to know that which is true, offer up your blood to the pew. The morbid invitation hangs above you as you wonder about this truth. Why not? Let's have Monet do it. Monet pulls out a knife and presses it to their hand. They grit through the pain as their blood drips onto the stone. But the monument seems to be coated with some sort of oil, the blood rolling down the surface as soon as it makes contact. It drains into a depression at the base of the monument, shaping slowly into words. With these words I will humbly teach that I am nothing but a leech. So, there was no point to that. You realize this monument is nothing more than a ruse, and all of you fell for its trickery. Though the message was true, it definitely was not worth Monet getting injured over. With a stinging hand and an embarrassing truth in your heart, you return to the labyrinth. Alright. Minus 60. H. E. 2. The proof in the blood pudding. In the middle of a clearing, you found a monument claiming to dispense a truth in exchange for blood. It... sort of did? Alright, well... The XP is the real reason anyone does these, so... Okay, so that is new. Pixie. Just nothing, no Forest Pixie, no Fey Pixie, no nothing. Just a straight-up Pixie. Um, it's probably... The Pixie's probably pretty good against magical attacks. Let's try a Head Bash. And maybe... Oh yeah, let's try Head Sniping. See if that works out for us. Well, Stone Gleam? The Pixie can petrify too? Hmm. Oh well. At least we're... At least we've got those Cockatrice charms. We're basically future-proofed for this dungeon, it looks like. One refresh coming up, and then a head snipe for the Black Boar. Welp. Can't do that anymore. Crap. Alright, one head pierce coming up. Massive Edge, Firestar, save us from this dude. Stone Gleam, the exact same attack that the Basilisk was using. Yeah. Not too great against physical attacks, but definitely pretty good with magical attacks. The Pixie, that is. The Black Board, not really. Pixie, Fairy Wings, Fairy Hair. Alright. So that was interesting. So it looks like the uh, we're not basically stuck going one way through the floor again like before. And it's also not one boss per floor like I was originally thinking it was going to be. Okay, and the pixie can also seal our arms as well. So basically, it's got the same tricks that the basilisk did. And Rika discovered items, all missed. Okay, so she does pull up pretty nice items. I'd, I would trade that for her aiding us in battle, though, in a heartbeat. This looks like an FOE room. Yep, FOE. Only the one, though. This one moves! Hmm. Okay. So it moves one in the direction that it's facing. And it doesn't, it doesn't twist, uh, or it doesn't turn every two moves. It just, it's every one. Okay. Hopefully we can turn in these fairy hair, like the fairy hair and fairy wings for a request or something like that. That'd be nice. Okay. We've got another door here, but definitely leads to an FOE room. Cool. Cool. Does this... Okay, I was about to say, does this not go anywhere? Okay, so that's how that connects. Already got our first shortcut. Always nice. There's nothing for us to check over there. Which is less nice, but, you know, still understandable. Level 62 for Baron. But most importantly... 
Oh, that's a different kind of FOE. Hmm. She is literally standing in the way of us being able to keep going. Okay, so us getting spotted by this thing brings everybody down on us. Okay, so now that he's moving that way... Wait, does she actually go over? Okay. So there... Oh my gosh. So much movement! You got so many different set of sets of enemy movements to keep track of. Oh. Okay, so we've got sand pushing... Wait, what? Okay, I must have just been hitting the button not realizing. Okay, uh, even though they've spotted us, we should still be able to get out of here. Or not. Wait, how did I trap myself? Where does... Where's the way out? Where's the door? Did the door disappear or something? Hmm. Might be unable to come back. Might be unable to come back. No. Okay, so there's another one of these. And there isn't one over here. Okay, I just had to be triple certain. Okay, so I guess that must have been the right way to go. That was a very weird room. Sand twig, and that's it. Oh well, we figured it out in the end, so that's all that matters. Blindsided. Okay, we still managed not to die right there. So, I'm completely on board with that. Hmm. Okay, so this might be a way to the shortcut. But we do want to explore a little bit over here. Okay. Nothing really of interest. Just gotta keep moving on. Unless Enrique discovered leg binder, stuff like that. Okay, cool. That's... Wrong. Wait. Is there not... Oh, okay, this leads to another chop point. Okay, so that's... I was like, wait, where's the other thing? A dried peach tree. The dried peach tree seems like it might be something that we would need for our request. Or maybe that's just me being extremely hopeful. So now we can see what's beyond that door. Uh, it's another FOE room. Okay, that's fine. Okay. So, they move two. You just have to ID the door. Unless this is another one of those things where there's no door, it's just a, a one way. Oh. Okay, so they've got both types here. Is there... Okay, so that... That one goes over there. Something like this. Hmm... Okay, so it looks to be a straight line. Whoops. Okay. Uh... 
I guess we can be pretty hopeful about this one. Huh? Yes, okay, so this was the way to go. I wonder where the other one would have led. But here's our shortcut back. And let's, uh, yeah, let's keep going. Lo, behold the golden wings. Uh, wait, did I put the right thing? Yes, I did. Okay. Hmm. So now we've got four requests backlogged, basically. What's... I, I don't get the, like, the one-way FOE rooms. It's definitely... It's different, but it's, like... It's got a dangerous feeling to it. Okay, a preemptive attack on a forest warrior. Let's see if we can maybe get a head pierce. Chip edge. Oh, these things are probably... Well, we know that the huge MOAs are weak to Volt, so... We can just go with Volt. And how about an arm snipe? Okay, we got the head seal. Looks well nice. Dang, we didn't get any of the seals that we wanted. And it's daytime too, so we have to take that into account also. Impulse Edge, Binary Thunder, another Volt Star. And let's see if we can get this arm snipe to land. Leg Slash. Welp. Okay, so we got the auto revive, which is nice, but that thing is definitely really friggin' dangerous. Hmm. Okay. Uh. Yeah, we are leg bound. Which means bad news. Undying Soul, Ghastly March. Might seem overkill, but you know what? We really don't want to die here. Okay. There we go. Got him in one. Ugh. Okay, the huge MOA is definitely next. Can we get the kill on it before it gets the kill on us, though? That's the... Well, it's not going to kill us. But I would like to kill it with Astra alive. Ah, eh, whatever. We're going to leave after this anyways. Well, we're going to walk as far as we can without getting into an, an encounter and then leave after this. There we go. All's well that ends well. So now let's see what other secrets this one's got. We didn't get the drop. Oh, man. It's so weird that he never actually explained to us why he was getting attacked by his folks. Nothing about it being like another tribe or... People who weren't cool with his leadership know nothing. Ariadne thread. Okay. A map can be reported. Okay, so that was all we were needing. Registry. 1F. And then a map of 2F, which I also made a note of. So what do you got for us, Kavas here? Oh. Okay. Let me actually go to the quest, sending up the scene. I'm an artist trying out new techniques to spruce up my drab home. Please help me obtain the materials I need. Hey, picking up that request? Glad to hear. That one's from a beautiful young woman. Isn't it exciting? I'd do anything for that lovely woman and that perfect smile of hers. You don't care about that? Oh, okay. Well, she needs us to bring her three dried peach trees. You can chop some down in the Sandy Barrens. Good luck. And then up to the highest heights. I want to measure the air currents above Meginia, but we don't have enough equipment. Could you bring me the materials to make a new device? Uh, 3XL is 5000N. Okay, well, let's do up to the highest heights. Yes, that one. It's from the meteorologist who assists the pilots that control Meginia. She wants to measure the air currents around the island to prepare for our next liftoff. Oh, that's right. This city can fly. How could I forget that? It hasn't, it's probably not going to be relevant outside of the beginning and the very ending, so. Anyway, she wants us to bring her the materials she needs to make the measuring equipment. Bring me two sets of fairy wings and two bits of fairy hair. You can get them from Pixies in the Sandy Barrens. 
That's all we need this time. Be careful out there, so we can immediately report this one. The five laudanums. I don't really make use of the laudanums, but it's good to have them, I guess. Good work out there. Do you have everything? Yep, it's all here. I asked her how she's going to measure the air currents with these materials. Got a guess as to what she said? She's going to make a kite! She can use it to measure wind speed and wind direction. Isn't that a great idea? Back in the day, people said I was as carefree as a kite without a string. I've matured a lot since then. If you say so, Kavasir. The phrase sounds so nice, though. Seems like a kite without a string would be free to fly about wherever it wanted. <laughs> What's that? I haven't changed at all. <laughs> I may seem carefree, but I do work pretty hard. He does, he does do a lot of work, at least where we're involved. Why, when you're not around, I'm out battling evil and saving the world. Okay, let's not go too far now. Here's your reward. Oh, and I was joking about battling evil and all that. Laudanum, but most importantly, nice little bit of XP for us. And we can take on this next request. I lost sight of my guildmate on B4F of the Sandy Barons. Are there any brave adventurers who could help me look for him? Oh, that request. That one comes from a young woman who's an adventurer. See that gloomy looking girl sitting at that table? That's her. What a shame. She'd be so much cuter if she smiled. I'm not very good at comforting people. It's just who I am. Did you go talk to her? Sure. Let's see what's going on with the patrons. Um, excuse me. Would you mind hearing my request, please? I was exploring B4F of the Sandy Barrens with the guildmate who's mentoring me when he got too far ahead of me. I wound up falling too far behind, so I headed back here. But now I'm worried that he's in the labyrinth still waiting for me to catch up. Could you please go and find him? When you do, give him this letter. Letter to Mentor. I lost my mentor somewhere on B4F of the Sandy Barrens on the northeast end of the floor. The northeast end? Holy crap. We're nowhere near that, but soon. He dodged the Cruella there and continued advancing, but I wasn't able to pull it off too. I'm relying on all of you to find him. So those FOEs are called Cruellas then. Alright. We're going to go ahead... Oh, uh, well, actually, we're going to sell all this stuff that we don't need and see if we can get anything nice. Fairy knife, fairy's needle, head binder, arm binder, and leg binder. Okay. We didn't really get anything nice, but I guess it's better than nothing. Wow. Okay, so what she's saying has changed yet again. Okay, and what she said has changed also. So we're going to stay till evening, go ahead, save, and keep trekking through the uh, dungeon. That's all. Give me next time, though, so definitely join me then for more Etrian Odyssey Nexus. Bye for now, guys. Bye.